Hello, uh, my name is Endla Lökkivi and um, I'm a philosopher of science, a discipline that I've been teaching uh, for more than 20 years at the university. Before coming to philosophy, I studied chemistry, so I have personal experience from working in a uh, chemistry laboratory. Uh, this week we are going to study critical thinking in science. Critical thinking as such concerns validity of methods uh, used for uh, getting knowledge in, in any area of, of human activities. This week we, we focus uh, specifically on scientific methods. What makes the scientific methods relevant for studying a topic? What uh, makes them valid? Uh, how to com uh, compare and evaluate scientific methods? Are the methods applied in the sciences uh, universal to uh, all uh, scientific disciplines or are they discipline specific? What distinguishes science from pseudoscience and non-science? These are the questions that we are going to address. If we look into history of science, we can distinguish between two uh, main approaches. A theoretical contemplation of how things in the world could be, and empirical fact collecting and generalizing from the facts. Uh, these two approaches to knowledge could be combined. Theoretical hypotheses need uh, empirical tests, and empirically gathered uh, facts need theoretical explanation. If to focus on the logic, of hypothesis uh, testing or generalizations from the facts, uh, we could see uh, certain patterns of inferences. Uh, these are deductive and inductive inferences applied in, in the sciences. We shall uh, examine both types of the inferences during this week and see the advantages and uh, limitations of, of those. In actual scientific practice, hypotheses are not tested separately from background assumptions. Rather, it's some kind of network of beliefs or a model uh, that is challenged in the experiments and observations. And we are going to explore what models are, how models are constructed, and how they are used in scientific research. Also, we are going to discuss how scientific knowledge changes over time, what causes the need for new hypotheses and new data. Uh, what makes evolutionary paradigm shifts in the sciences. You will be provided with some uh, basic texts and comments on the texts. Uh, you are kindly asked to uh, watch the uh, video material uh, of the interviews with scientists from different fields um, and uh, to check your understanding, uh, you could uh, use the multiple choice tests to complete uh, the part of the course. Uh, you need to submit a brief analysis of your own uh, research methods. For this assignment, you will be uh, provided with separate guidelines uh, on model. If you have any questions concerning uh, uh, either the uh, material or the conditions of completion, please don't hesitate contacting me via email. Thank you.